Hey guys, Sisori here. Uh, I just wanted to go over Vildred. Probably one of the most OP champions, I believe, for farming and PvP. Uh, with a good Vildred, you can clear a lot of teams out. And he has just he's just one of the best uh, cleave characters in the game right now, I believe. But there are there are others, but he he's my main guy. I pulled him on my third attempt and just been going from there. So let's take a look at him in some PvP and see what happens. Should probably buy that. Okay. So right now PvP is pretty stale because most people only have either one or two 60s. So you can see 60, 60, 60, 260s, uh, 160, 160. Uh, you want to avoid this guy here, Ken. I believe that's Ken. He's pretty stupid against Fildred. He's like hard counter. But everything else is just free game. So you can see uh, all, these all these players who leveled this bitch up, she's just... She's only good in PvE content, but in PvP she can be quite annoying if uh, pretty much scaled with the right champions. So, this is not the right champions. Just go in there. So, Celia, uh, Destina. I have the poor man's Destina. So, it's always going to go first. We'll take a look at the speeds of everybody. Uh, so we pretty much outspeed everybody. When he uses his third ability, you always want to go for the squishiest champion in their lineup. He may kill this person. I hope not. Okay, that's good. Uh, you don't want to kill them because that would n negate his S3. I'm just going to put it on auto here. He pretty much just cleared the board. Generally a team will have one or two main damage dealers, a tank and a healer. Some will be annoying and have two healers. In this instance they're going with the standard two damage dealers, a tank and a healer. Oh, that was pretty big. She cleansed the uh, provoke. Artifact, I think. I need to find a good replacement for Kate's. I think Cecilia is gonna be that person. Or, not Cecilia, I mean Celeste. So, first win, easy peasy, nice, free gold. Let's just go back. When you get free gold, you gotta spend free gold. Nothing. Come back soon. <laughs> All right, so the second person, they have Silk and Sid. Let's see if his Sid is quick. Uh, if it is, we, he's going to fight my Sid. Silk goes first. Oh, Justina's going to go second. That's weird. She just got defense broken. My goddess. Wow. Actually, his Sid is kind of slow. Let's take a look at the speed. So they have speed buff, and we don't have speed buff. So this is going to be the next person who goes after him. So we're just going to go straight on her with the S3 on Sid. That was a lot of damage. We don't care about this Sid. He can't one-shot anybody. And unless he kills... Oh, I lied. He's actually really strong. We can... I think we can still win. You'll be destroyed. All right, Go decent provoke. So here we're just gonna barrier him. He's invincible. They're probably all gonna focus him. End. Wow. I don't understand the AI in this game. Like he's the lowest one, and they don't focus him. doing now he does absolutely no damage that's weird yeah 
Okay. This is a bad. That's one of the matchups where we need to be careful. Because SIDS is just. Counter SIDS are pretty good. I should have just went straight on him. Let's go with this matchup. His name's False God. And this time around, I'm going to troll. I'm going to put Celeste in. So Destina's gonna go, but I don't care about that because I think Celeste can reduce her. That might be troublesome. Actually, let's just go. Um, no, we need to reduce. She's the lowest level on the team too. Half HP. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with her health. The attack bonus. There we go. Everybody got their attack bar reset by 20%. That's why Celeste is pretty strong. If they didn't have Diane, they would have been fine with like an actual good healer. guy here he's trying to outspeed us with silk I'll punish you. silk is actually pretty decent right now if she's Let's super fast she can merc your team which she isn't all that fast but Vildred is actually pretty quick I I will win. but he's gonna get one shot here Give up already. All right. Shall we clean up? This is my I didn't do the heal that time because I'm pretty sure this Lorena is going to go on her. Yep. <laughs> That's fine. She did what she needed. That's why Celia is so good. She can provoke. Shall we go? It's over. Do you have nothing to say? I will break through. Destina's protection. Stop stalling, girl. Henry D. I shall protect everyone. Are you not entertained? Nice. Alright, so we're not doing these two. Because this is fire, this is dark. Neither of which are going to be good with my Vildred. Let's take a scan real quick of what's going on here. This guy is pretty troll. He can get decent stun. If he's quick. We should watch out for, I think that's it. This team is actually pretty awful. I'm not sure how they got so high. This team's pretty troll also. We got two buffers. Two healers, like buff heal. Let's just go, oh, I only have one left. Go the highest point person on here. So this person, oh. Okay, this one, 
actually pretty troll also. Command me. Where should I direct my arrows? I'll watch for a chance. How did she outspeed Assassin Sid? <laughs> Sometimes I don't understand the speed in this game. We need to for sure reset her. Let's not let this drag on. If they won't get out of the way, you know, if she gave a defense buff, that would have been broke. Now is the time of judgment. Oh, wow. We did no damage to her because the crit cancel crit buff. The fact that she can reset their whole lineup 20% every turn, I think that's pretty broke in itself. Whoa, she's pretty strong. I thought she was going to be the strongest person. Where should I direct my arrows? It's time to be careful. Where should I start? What's the burn do? Increase damage? <laughs> I think it hits like 1k. What's our assignment? Yeah, it's pretty weak. Please. I'll take care of it. Master of all life. By your Boom. Didn't I tell you? Just put your faith in me. Okay. Let's take a look at the units I have and what kind of kind of stats we have going. First off, we got Vildred here. One of the key things everybody's been talking about is gear, and they are always talking about you need the best gear. Uh, anything higher than T four. But you can see here, I have a couple of T3 items. Uh, just use what you got, really. So, here's his stats. He's almost 50,000 CP. He has almost 3,000 attack. Speed is 130. I need to get that up to at least 150 to counter a lot of the speed players. Uh, if I want to pretty much combo him with Sless. Um, You definitely want crit over 80 percent 75 70 to 75 is like weak pretty low i believe 80 is where you want to be at you want to crit three out of the four players on the enemy team when you do and this crit damage is actually really low you want to at least 190 to 200 which might almost be unattainable depending on your set i have attack set plus crit uh so the main stat you want on all your equipment is attack percentage crit damage speed and crit chance so speed crit chance this is pretty decent helmet 14 percent uh, attack with the crit chance and a flat attack the effectiveness i wish could get rid of this is pretty decent also speed crit damage uh the neck is pretty amazing so we have the crit chance 35 percent but look at this attack 21% that's incredible that's almost half the percent of a neck that would be attack damage base the ring could be upgrade really well once I do he's gonna be incredible he's gonna have over 3.5k attack minimum and then the boots are pretty decent 40% attack crit damage speed artifacts let's talk about artifacts so thieves artifacts there's they're pretty limited, let's be honest. Uh, there's nothing really in here, maybe this. No, it doesn't do the AoE stuff. The only thing I found is this. It's only good against people with 50% or more health, and that's good if the Assassin Sid that starts the round off doesn't get them below 50. You can still 
one shot the majority of the people. Assassin's Creed usually brings them down to 90%, so you can get your S2 proc. This could be pretty decent if you go on a very heavy, heavy uh, tank team, but I use this not only in PvP, but also in farming. It's good Sid. So Sid, you want to have at least 2k to 2.2k damage or attack. His speed needs to be at least 190 to 200. Right now, he's pretty slow in my opinion. Um, but his other stats make up for it. So his attack, crit damage, uh, crit rate. See, so, yeah, she's just uh, put in there, kind of roll with hero, I guess. <coughs> But, um, let's see here. We're not getting any audio in the game. There we go. Um, so, she's just a placeholder, honestly. I would run her on a speed set also with just tons of health right now her health is actually pretty low and she can get one shot by a lot of players thankfully she can mitigate that with her high defense um and then we'll go with this is my healer she's a placeholder but let's talk about celeste So, she is one of your speed imprints. If you can combo that with Vildred's speed imprint, you can outspeed almost everybody. Her base speed is, I think, 120. Mm, I lied. Her base speed, I think, is 128. I'm not 100% sure. But with the... She has one of the fastest speeds, so you want to go speed set plus whatever. Uh, and then the artifact is interchangeable. You can go dual attack, etc., etc. Oh, I want to talk about Assassin Sid artifact. You want to do Dust Devil to get that bonus attack twice. Okay, so Celeste is probably one of the best combos with everybody because uh, with her S2, she has a 50% chance to decrease readiness by 20%. And that goes up by, I don't think that goes up by anything, but the damage increases forever. You don't really need the cooldown, so there's no point in really getting her S2. Her S3 is actually pretty decent. She gets a health back, so she can get her S2 on a permanent uh, rotation. She also has a 75% chance to decrease hit once max. You have the 10 and 15, so 25 on top of 50, 75%. That's pretty much the comp. The only thing you need to worry about was uh, like that second team. If you get outspeeded and they kill your Vildred, then you're kind of screwed. Uh, unless I get these two up to par, then you can still survive and possibly out kill their other damage dealers. And that's pretty much it for the cleave comp. You can change any of the champions here. The only person you really need is Vildred. You need a good speed buffer or D uh, combat readiness player. You need somebody who's super quick who can do the initial damage uh, on one champion so Vildred can get his ultimate off, which is his S3, and then get the proc with the S2. Then you need some type of utility support tank. Uh, can be one of the three. Don't get a buffer that's the only thing i have to say if you get somebody who buffs attack and defense they're gonna have to be faster in vildred uh, and that's gonna make your team just pretty much all speed you want somebody who might be slower than vildred to clean up or has a decent provoke uh, like celia 